Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today. In our first topic of the video, Bonang Mateba announces 300k victory over podcaster Ria Hupane. So it seems like podcaster Ria Hupane needed that good luck that media personality Bonang Mateba wished him last week after the media personality announced that she has won her case against him and he is set to pay her 300,000 rands. Now for those that are unaware of this particular story and for me to give you the context that you deserve, Ria Hupane actually landed himself in hot waters with Bonang last year after he claimed in one of his episodes that Bonang introduced her ex-boyfriend rapper aka to cocaine. Now, of course, the clip of him making those accusations had landed him on social media. One News actually posted a snippet from that particular podcast captioned, The reason why Ria Hupane is trending, Scoop told us, people must stay away from strong accusations. Now Bonang is taking action. So let's take a listen to that clip real quick. Too, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, But he says, afterwards, he says, what's killing the youth is drugs and alcohol. Sure. It's linking it to, to, her, to her death, obviously, saying that, that that could be one of the reasons. I'm not saying he is saying that. He's saying that could be one of the reasons. Now, let's get back to what I was saying. We know AKA, bro. Let's not hide from the truth. What is the truth? Doc Scoop told us, bro. What did he tell us? Because boss, you are not bringing it. Scoop told us that AKA <laughs> is on coke. And Bonang is the one that got him into cocaine. Scoop told us that, bro. After the interview, we had him right here at this place. We were talking about the fight between him and Casper. So we know that AKA is into hard drugs. We know it. I know. It's known. It's not factual. It's known. Nah, dude. It's yeah. known. But you know, Rhea, let me it's say this known. to you. Let me say this 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 to you. Such accusations, especially, especially with no... What, which accusation? Who am I accusing of what? He's saying he's on drugs. That's not what I'm saying. He said he's on coke. Scoop told us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In confidential. Mm. But this is the Ray and Blackstaff podcast. I mean, like, you, there's no confidential now, like... It's out of there. Yeah. So we know that AK has been abusing drugs, bro. He lives the fast life, all the fame, dog clubs, whatever. Like, he's there. This girl was thrown into it right after dating this guy. So what's your point? Bro? That dad is seeing drugs and alcohol abuse. There's a connection there. So wait, so... You tell me why would the dad defend AKA over his daughter? What do you mean? Because he was marrying into the family. I if, don't think no, he's like, but like. But if you're saying that AKA was on those things, and then you if say, I say, dog, why, why, like, why are we scared no, to say it, bro? I'm saying we know say, that AKA was, bro. If you're saying AKA is on drugs, look, my takeaway from this particular clip is that it seems like Ria knows AKA because he says we know AKA, and Scoop told us. Scoop told them. And I will say this, you know, I felt like his uh, co-host did throw him under the bus, even though he did caution him. He's like, you know what, let's not make such accusations. Ria went on to say, you, Scoop told us. Scoop told him. Heck, he even went on to name Scoop by his birth certificate name. So yes, after that, Monang did come through, slammed the vlogger and served him with a 500,000 rands lawsuit in which he was instructed by Bonang's legal team to retract his statements as well as issue an apology on his social media platform in the form of a video and a letter. So starting off with the letter, Ria Hopane posted the following, Apology and retraction to Miss Bonang Mateba to the extent that I have made statements to certain individuals in the public media stating or implying Miss Mateba's connection to cocaine, I unequivocally retract all such imputations and unreservedly apologize that they were made. I regret my inconvenience caused to Miss Mateba and undertake that it will not happen again. Ria Hopane 
Now, I will say this, you know, once you apologize, you are actually taking ownership of that. You are saying, you know what, I'm guilty. Personally, regardless of what Scoop told them, once you actually come through with a public statement, apologizing and retracting your statements, ah, you are guilty. And like I said, there was also a video. Good evening, everybody. My name is Rea Tlachino Khopani. I'm a 22-year-old podcaster on the Rea and Black Staff podcast. As stated in my previous retraction and apology to Ms. Bonang Matera, um, I would like to sincerely apologize to everybody that was mentioned in the podcast on the 9th of May in 2021. Um, I am deeply regretful of what I said and I now realize the harm that our podcast could, could cause and um, I've learned from my mistake and I will definitely look to improve on my content going forward. The people that I would like to specifically apologize to is Ms. Bonang Mateva, Sia Bongang Wekazi, which is Kut Makatini, and then lastly, AKA, which is Mr. Keenan Forbes. And I just want to make sure that um, we push the envelope forward in terms of providing content for the entertainment industry. I never want to um, be negative and spew negative information. I just want to make sure that we build together and everything that I do or say, everybody that I interview, I leave them with a bit of um, a lot of positivity. So I'm really sorry and I hope everybody can forgive me and um, I'll make sure I do the right thing going forward. So yes, he apologized and issued an apology but uh, never gave Bonang that 500k. Now, after that, you know, the interactions between the two of them, it seemed like Ria was unbothered about his debt and often took to social media to taunt Bonang. Now, about a week or so ago, Bonang actually told her followers that the case was actually due in court. So in a series of very cryptic tweets, Bonang posted the following, I won with uh, some champagne clapping celebration emoji, 300,000 rands. Now, a user actually replied to Bonang and wrote, Andiko and Dinoba Unayo ne 30k, roughly translated, I don't think he even has 30,000 rands, to which Bonang wrote, The next 30 years, but to be mad fun for him with a heart emoji. Now, apart from that, Bonang also retweeted a fan who quoted Chris Jenner's thoughts about suing people who do you wrong. Now, the tweet reads, Chris Jenner once said, I don't care how much money somebody might have. If they have nothing, she warned. Some people think, oh, I don't have any money and they are not going to sue me. Well, we'll take payments. We'll garner those wages for, you know, the next 10 years. But I just think that people don't think it's a foolish thing to do. Look, it is safe to say at this point that Bonang was definitely proving a point. And apart from that, you know, as a YouTuber, I mean, uh, Rhea is also a YouTuber. And I kind of understand, you know, I'm going to side a little bit with the YouTuber and say, you know what? I feel bad for the guy. 300,000 rand. Slick Talk had to get his lip busted up for 100k. Imagine having to do that three times just to pay back Bonang's bills. But on the flip side of that coin, you know, staying neutral and all of that stuff, I also do understand where Bonang is coming from. I mean, imagine a world where you could just go out, come out and say whatever the hell you want about someone without proof and without any consequences. So in that respect, I kind of understand why Bonang had to do this and why she did this. And you know what? Definitely more power to her. Perhaps in future, people will be more aware of what they are saying in public platforms about people that they don't know anything about anyways. And especially about things that you don't even have the smallest bit of evidence or proof of what you are saying. But moving right along, another user wrote, Congratulations, Bonang, you deserve. We must normalize this and always teach our fans a lesson to never mess with us or our bag. Look, like I said, I do feel for Uria, but definitely congratulations to Bonang. But yeah, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Bonang Mateba says that she will donate Ria Hupane's 300k to her foundation. 
So media personality Bonang Mateba has released a statement confirming her defamation case victory against Ria Khupane and explained that she didn't intend to benefit financially from the ordeal and therefore plans to donate the money to charity. So hours after announcing her win on social media, Bonang actually issued a statement welcoming the judgment by judge Petrus Malindi of the Johannesburg High Court. So Bonang posted the following on social media. The end. Thank you for all your support. 28 January 2022. Immediate release. It is with a great deal of humility that I acknowledge and welcome the vindicating and groundbreaking ruling by Judge Malindi of the High Court of Johannesburg, South Africa on the 27th January 2022. Following several false and defamatory attacks on my reputation by a certain Mr. Hubane and only after two written requests to desist which were ignored, I instituted an action for compensatory damages in the Johannesburg High Court. After the hearing argument relating to the unlawful conduct of Mr. Khubane, the court upheld my claim for damages and in a precedented setting judgment ordered that Mr. Khubane pay damages in the amount of 300,000 rands plus the legal costs of the action. I trust that this judgment be a lesson to individuals like Mr. Hupane that there are consequences for abusing public platforms to defame and humiliate others. It is important that particularly as women our voices are used constructively to ensure that cyberbullying, untrue and inflammatory attacks on any individual's reputation are not tolerated. It is not my intention to benefit financially from the ruling, rather I wish to uplift those less fortunate than me and I will be donating the damages received to my philanthropic endeavor, the Bonang Mateba Foundation, which I established to advance the tertiary education of young women. I would further like to acknowledge and thank Thomas Wilkes' attorneys for their unwavering support and commitment during these proceedings. Alternative, it is not my intention. Now, this is actually a repetition of the previous paragraph, so I will read that out again. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.